Hello everybody and welcome to the Sparkling Autos YouTube channel. Something a little bit different today and as the title suggests I'm going to be cleaning and applying a little bit of protection to this caravan. Now from a distance, as with most caravans, it probably doesn't look too bad, it looks relatively clean. But upon closer inspection you can see that all those trips up and down wet motorways and bay roads and just parked up in seaside caravan parks eventually do take their toll. The regular viewers to the channel will probably recognise this caravan from the background in a lot of my videos. But to anyone who isn't a regular viewer, and of course I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, this caravan doesn't actually belong to me, it belongs to my parents, whose driveway I use for a lot of my recording, and in return I clean their car and their caravan every now and again. Well obviously I do more than that for them, they're my parents, but for the context of this video, that's what I'm doing for them. Now you can start to see exactly what I mean by upon closer inspection, there's traffic film, road grime, general muck, moss, wildlife, whatever you can name is starting to grow or has certainly attached itself onto the caravan. And this is actually a fairly well maintained caravan but unlike your car you're not washing your caravan on a weekly basis because the process as you're about to see, well it takes a little bit longer than a normal maintenance wash in a car. But enough waffling for me, let's actually get on with the process of getting this caravan ready for the season ahead. The first stage then is the pre-rinse, which is to remove all the loose muck and dirt from the surface of the caravan before getting in with any chemicals. And of course my regular assistant is on standby for health and safety reasons, aka my dad, aka the caravan owner, who actually turned 70 just this week, so don't forget to wish him a happy birthday in the comments section. I know a lot of people are probably already freaking out at this stage at the idea of using a pressure washer to clean a caravan, as it isn't generally recommended to do, and for a good reason. However, I do know what I'm doing with the pressure washer, and if you use a bit of common sense, you'll know that it isn't actually as terrifyingly dangerous to the caravan as people would have you believe. You just need to be careful which areas you're actually applying pressure to, and for how long you're applying the pressure. And more importantly, as you'll see here, this is actually quite a wide angle fan, which doesn't exert as much pressure as you would believe, which I'm about to demonstrate by putting my hand in front of it. And whilst I don't recommend doing this at home, that is purely to demonstrate how relatively safe it is on the surface of the caravan. It is obviously important to get all of the moss and the trapped dirt out of these sort of intricate areas, as otherwise they'll just trap moisture within there, which will eventually lead to rot. Which, as you can imagine, is going to be worse for the caravan than a plant of pressure washer once a year. Now, when it comes to pre-washing, the choice really comes down to personal preference. You can use an all-purpose cleaner, a citrus pre-wash, or a traffic film remover, whatever really you prefer to use, or whatever you think will be best based on the condition of your caravan at the time. And in this particular instance, I've gone with a, an all-purpose cleaner. And to be perfectly honest, this was actually filmed over 12 months ago, and I can't even remember which one I used. But when it comes to a job like this, any decent strength all-purpose cleaner is going to do a good enough job. Up on the roof then, and no, I'm not about to break in the song. This is possibly the one and only time you'll ever actually see me using this Karcher brush attachment in any one of my videos. I think if I ever used this in a car, I would lose any credibility and about a thousand subscribers overnight. However, on the roof of the caravan, it's absolutely perfect for the job. It gives me the reach I need, gives me enough pressure to remove whatever dirt is on there. And if anybody's particularly worried about getting swirl marks on the roof of a caravan, well, then you're a lot more dedicated than I am, and hats off to you. Now, my mum has asked me never to put her in one of my videos, but as it is her caravan as well, I don't see why my dad should suffer alone. By the time I've actually finished cleaning the roof, the pre-washed product that I applied to the rest of the caravan will have done all it's going to do, so I'm going to ground now and carefully remove all of that. You might notice that I'm removing the pre-washed chemicals from the bottom to the top. This is a personal preference thing, a few people have asked me about it. 
And really, it comes down to the fact that your pre-wash chemicals are a lot stronger than your shampoos. And in order to make sure I've removed it all, if I do it from the bottom to the top, I can actually see what I've removed. But in reality, there's no right or wrong here. It's just a personal preference. The next stage then is the actual contact wash and for that I'm using a product called Garage Therapy Decon Shampoo. And for this stage I'm going to combine two different methods for using this product. The first of which is to add 30 milliliters to a bucket of warm water, which as you can see here generates quite a significant amount of suds. And the second method is to add 80 mils of the product to 720 mils of water, which can then be used as a pre-wash or snow foam solution. And obviously this foaming stage isn't absolutely necessary given the fact that I have thoroughly pre-rinsed the caravan first of all. But as it wasn't a particularly dry day and the conditions were quite cool, having this extra layer of a powerful soap solution on the caravan just allowed it to break up that dirt a little bit more making it a lot easier to remove. Clean it from top to bottom then just as you would with the car. And then carefully rinsing down each side of the caravan as you wash it to avoid the risk of any product drying in. For the record this isn't actually as bad and ridiculous as it looks. The ladder does actually have feet that come out the sides a few inches to stop it falling over. It may just be uh, a little bit top heavy at the minute which is causing a bit of movement but it's nothing to worry about. Your caravan windows are generally two acrylic plastic sheets bonded together which although incredibly lightweight and surprisingly strong they're also very susceptible to scratching if a poor cleaning process is used. Now if you have the time and you really want to do things properly, you can get into all these nooks, crannies and crevices with a detailing brush just to remove all the bits that a wash pad just cannot get to. And while some people might think that's a bit overkill, if you keep watching you'll see why it's important to do some of these areas. You can see more dirt coming out from behind the manoeuvring handles here at the back, but that's nothing compared to some of the stuff you're going to see coming out at the front. Really if you think about it, the front of a caravan takes a heck of a hammering because it's right behind the car which is kicking up any spray muck in the road and it's just getting the full brunt of it. And as I work my way across the top of the rail you can actually see the colour of the soap solution as it brings the dirt out with it. And of course it's important to clean around the towing hook as well because when you arrive at a site and you've parked up the first thing you want to do is unhook and the last thing you want to do is grab the handle and get in 12 months worth of road grime between your fingers. final rinse off then before applying the protection and this time unlike when removing the pre-wash products I actually do go from the top to the bottom and whether I'm washing a car, a caravan, a motorbike I like to allow myself enough time at this stage to go around the vehicle a couple of times just to make sure I've removed all the soap solution. Now a couple of minutes ago in the video I did mention about how Poor cleaning processes on your caravan windows can lead to scratching etc. If you do find this has been the case you can buff these scratches out, it's not the end of the world. And this is something I'm more than happy to cover in another video if anybody's interested. And if you are, just let me know in the comments section below. Now these windows weren't even particularly bad, I was just giving them a light buff. But even at that, to me there's definitely a difference in clarity. If you look at either side of the tape line down the middle, you can even see where the buffing machine has actually gone over the tape, just to the left of it. But as I've said, if you want to see that in more detail, just let me know in the comments section.
You'd be glad to hear we're almost at the end of this video. So the type of protection or sealant I'm going to apply here is known as a spray and rinse sealant. So what I need to do first of all is make sure the caravan is nice and wet. This particular sealant is being applied by an old foam lance and it's called Constellation Chemicals Aquarius Ceramic Snow Seal. The process couldn't be any simpler. You mix up 100ml of the product with 900ml of water in your lance and just liberally apply it all over the vehicle, in this case a caravan. Now again, the conditions on this day were absolutely ideal for applying this product because the chances of it drying in were extremely slim. So I applied it liberally and evenly to each side of the caravan before carefully removing it all. Now you can choose to do this one of two ways. You can either apply it one side at a time and then rinse it off thoroughly, which I would recommend if the conditions are particularly warm or dry. Or you can do what I'm doing here, which because of the conditions allowed for it, applied it over the entire vehicle and then went and thoroughly rinsed it all off. But it's always a good idea to check before you climb up the ladder to rinse off the roof to make sure you've actually turned the pressure washer on. Thankfully, once again, I have my assistant to help me out. And as you go around and rinse the product off, you can actually see the change of water behaviour all over the caravan. Whereas before the water was just sitting there, it wasn't going anywhere, now it's just instantly sheeting off. Meaning that any rainwater or road water hitting it is going to come off hopefully with the same ease. Therefore reducing the possibility of dirt actually building up on the surface and also making it much easier to clean it the next time. And as I rinse off the rest of the caravan, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please, please feel welcome to subscribe and watch the rest of my videos. Other than that, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next one, and take care.